Okay, I'm going to do an update. Probably been a couple of months now that I've been using this Maxpedition Neat Freak Organizer as my little kind of temporary briefcase. I um, just did a video on my old briefcase that's finally kicked the bucket, and this one's been filling the roll. It's a little weird going down to a lot less stuff, but and it's a little weird because it looks like too much like a purse for me. I'd rather it be a little bit bigger so it looks more like a briefcase. But um, I've been working with it, and... Um, it's been working really well for me. Uh, first off, I'm going to take a look at this outside stuff. I put the roly-poly on here just so that every once in a while, if I'm carrying a little bit more on the way home than I did on the way out, I've got a little room to carry it and then can still carry it in one hand. It's not ideal being down at the bottom like that. Obviously, it kind of opens up, but I really don't use it too much. I just like the idea of having it with me. I've probably used it twice in the last two months as a pouch like that. Right above it, I've got this Bianchi uh, magazine pouch that I've done videos on that I carry my battery pack in. And again, we go through quite a few batteries doing videos and stuff, so it's handy having the, the batteries on the outside like that. Uh, it doesn't fit perfectly because there's not a great attachment point, but it sort of stacks up there on the outside and stays out of my way. It, this still fits into larger packs that I'll usually carry. Uh, this is sort of my admin pouch I guess you could call it um, it also allows me with this the lack of attachment points gives you this big strap here and I do end up carrying it this way sometimes too I don't like to throw it around because there's a laptop in here but uh, and usually some cameras and stuff so um, you know it does get handled fairly gently and it doesn't get thrown into a back of a truck or anything ever uh, this main outside pocket I use for the camera that I'm filming this on right now. So normally it lives right here by itself. And I actually crammed a business card in there right now, but for the most part it lives in there by itself. This is really a front, front flap that I just didn't like it like that. And in this kind of mesh pocket I just have a piece of 550 cord that I have planned for attaching to this camera. I just haven't done it. I just carry it around because eventually I will. I'm having a little trouble because there's a the hook part of the Velcro in here and there's a loop patch back there. And so the thing's so modular, there's so many different ways to set it up. You just have to sort of hold the Velcro as you adjust it the way you want. And then once you get it into place, all those Velcro panels attach and it stays fairly secure. Um, I don't use much of the outside stuff except for that outside pocket for the camera. In the back, it's got these crazy straps that seems like everybody else is cutting off. And I'll probably cut them off. I've been trying to figure out what these things are for, but like other people are saying, when you carry this thing, these get in your way, and I just don't use it. I don't use this outside pocket either. It's just too small. It would work for an envelope. I'll take that back. I did cram an envelope in there a couple of times. Coming home with the mail, it allowed me to cram an envelope, but if it's just not even big enough for a folded piece of paper, so I don't use it too much. It's buzzed into the pack now. The best thing about it, in my opinion, one of my favorite things about it, is that the zippers open all the way to the bottom, so I can really get into it. Uh, on the one side, I usually have a my good pen. I don't know where my good pen went. And then my uh, Sharpie there. There's an outside pouch, or pocket, I guess. And that's the wire to my external drive. So this is just an external hard drive, and that's the wire for it. Nothing else in that outside pocket. In this pocket, I do sometimes carry this camera, which isn't in there right now, but it sometimes lives in that pocket, which allows me, usually keep it zipped up like this, it allows me to reach in and grab this camera when it's sitting in that pocket. I can really easily grab it. Also at the top is my other video camera that I don't use quite so much. Everybody hates the quality of this one, so we don't use it as much. And then I've got a Bluetooth mouse for the laptop in this other pocket. And uh, now there's these four pockets that I never thought I'd find a use for because of the way they're Velcroed and stuff. I don't happen to use this lanyard, by the way. I'll just leave that in there. Um, but these Velcro things actually work out pretty well. I've got my Cricut wireless modem thing. It allows the computer to get online. In the top one, we've been carrying this Petzl Zipka, which is a headlamp, but it's the perfect little headlamp that fits in that little pouch. That way if I'm working at night, I've got the light 
and if I'm needing to, you know, walk or something, I've got a decent enough light that I can do some hiking with it as well. In this bottom pouch, we've got the uh, SOG multi-tool with the uh, auto assist blades. So that's a very useful multi-tool that can do quite a bit and has enough tools to really be its own little toolkit without going overboard. Then I've got my little uh, Eltoids thing that actually has a bunch of memory cards in it for the cameras and for the computer. And that's everything in this top pack, uh, top side. Then we've got on the two large pockets, I had that um, hard drive. I wish it would fit in the pocket, but it doesn't. So I have it just set in here sort of next to it in that position, which isn't ideal. I'd really rather have it in a pocket so it didn't fall out accidentally ever, although it's never fallen out accidentally ever. Uh, then I've got a spare cell phone. This is a cell phone that you put a hundred dollars, you buy it for like a hundred bucks, you put a hundred dollars on it, and then it's just always a cell phone ready to go. It only costs you money when you actually use it. So basically it's a great emergency phone and uh, has a little better coverage than my cheap phone does. And then behind it, I do keep a, a magic jack, which is just a way to let the computer work with a regular telephone and it provides us another phone number. It's great for travel and for doing businesses and stuff. Then we've got the small Dell laptop in there. And then behind the Dell, I've been carrying this pad of paper, which I guess we use it occasionally, but it's mostly in there to provide padding for the back of the laptop, since the laptop would then be sitting on just this. Um, I just wanted a little extra additional padding. So the pack is in great condition still. Again, I don't abuse it or anything. It's got a laptop in it, but it's been working out well for the laptop and for an array of stuff that, you know, has been working for me. Um, haven't needed the multi-tool yet, but it's still worth the wait to carry it around in my opinion. The pens I use all the time, the cameras we use all the time. The light I've used a few times when I break out the laptop, uh, if I'm in bed or in the car driving at night in the passenger seat using the laptop. It's great for watching the keyboard. The little modem thing, the Cricut modem, allows us to get online all the time. It's fairly slow, but um, definitely better than, than not having a modem. And uh, the Magic Jack thing, it, it doesn't weigh anything. It's mostly just hollow plastic, and it sort of keeps the cell phone in the pocket a little nicer. So not something I necessarily need, but since it's so lightweight, I do carry it around. Um, I figure if I do end up in an emergency needing to use a regular telephone, I can. So that's the um, update on the Maxpedition. I'm still looking for something a little bit bigger. Um, missing any, I don't have any kind of first aid equipment in here. I don't have any kind of normal supplies like um, even 550 cord really for doing quick repairs or you know tying a camera to a side of something you know just you know uh, improvised stuff. I don't really have any tools for improvising anything. Um, I've been reviewed this tripod pro recently, and I really was hoping that it would fit in here. It does fit in here. It's just that by the time you put the laptop and stuff in here, uh, it doesn't fit anymore. So really would like to figure out a way to incorporate this little tripod that opens up to almost four feet long. It's a great tripod and uh, great little adjustment head on the top here so it's a great small tripod as well. Um, just it won't fit in the pack as it is right now. So I'm looking for something just a hair bigger. That'll be my ideal pack and after watching Roscoe Ba, she did a, another review on this one and she made that her own insert which was great and I'm thinking about doing something like that because again I can't keep my hard drive and my cell phone in the pockets that exist in here already um, but I liked hers in black hers in all black was much cooler I think than this green one so uh, still looking for another briefcase but until then this thing's been working great I hardly ever carry it by itself for the reasons I just mentioned so what I do is drop this into a bigger backpack and I do like it for that as a sub pack, it's perfect because it keeps the pack or the laptop fairly secure. All the crap on the one side, that steno pad on the back, and then I've removed my Velcro stuff, but there's some padding plus some Velcro at the bottom. So it's a great protection for the laptop and the accessories that run the laptop. If I were to remove um, 
just a couple of the cameras or maybe the hard drive, I can get the, the charger for the, the laptop in here. If the bag would have to be just a, a bit thicker to incorporate the power cords for the laptop, just because this one happens to have a fairly big power cord. Um, if I had a wired mouse, you know, those kind of wires would eventually add up. But for right now, for what I'm using, it works out pretty decent.